Hi, Dr. Joe. To talk a little bit about the nuclear uh, fallout that may be occurring and it appears to be coming from Japan. Uh, it's going to be arriving uh, Monday uh, of this this next week, and it is something that you should know something about. The Chernobyl disaster in Russia was the last one we've had reference to, and basically what I'm going to say from the Center for Disease Control is something that was done then. And I was uh, consulting to a woman's soccer team that was traveling in Europe at that time, and with the iodine protection, there was no evidence of nodules, no evidence of cancer. It's not exactly that good for people who lived in Middle Europe, around uh, Munich and the like, because apparently there was a lot of uh, nuclear fallout that was not really recorded initially and actually was picked up because a lot of it is old radioactivity. It was picked up by swine, pigs, that are actually not in any, any yards or anything like that, but actually wild and therefore subject to hunters' uh, selection to, to get them. So they have continued to be a problem with radioactivity up until last year. So this is something uh, that is, is pretty important. There is no update from the CDC that I'm aware of right now, and this is from Dr. Brownstein. He has written on this and has several books on this, and I concur with everything he's basically said. It looks like the uh, high winds that come from Asia are the, the vectors which are going to bring that in. And as I say, they're going to be somewhere around Monday of this week to be in a place where you want to have your protection. You want to take it, and you want to take it daily for maybe a month, maybe six weeks or something like that. It lodges in the thyroid, prevent, preventing any uh, attachment to the body. This is where most of the fallout and most of the radioactivity comes. There's other kinds of radioactivity, and it may not be appropriate for everything, but this is the basic one we've used with nuclear disasters before. So it is something that you should do. It's estimated that it's about 750 rads are going to come, and that this is a pretty good amount. Uh, this is how much in basic terms? Well, it's about three-tenths of a hundred of a hundredth is three hundredth of a rad uh, for anybody uh, who's getting a chest x-ray so you know it's three tenths of the radiation you get three three hundredths of the radiation you get in a chest x-ray and one CT scan is equal to one rad uh, that's not much but it is continuing so that you ought to take uh, prevention now because the rads in the chest x-ray is one flash and it's over. So it's a little bit different. Uh, I assume we'll get more information from the Center for Disease Control, but I haven't seen anything yet in terms of this. Uh, this is the standard recommendations they have gotten, and this is the total amount that they basically want you to take. Uh, first of all, they say adults, uh, and particularly women who are breastfeeding, should be taking a total of 300 milligrams of potassium iodide or just potassium in some form. Uh, and that should be, as I say, for a, for a, a week, a six, six weeks, something like that. Uh, if you can, it would be good to take it a full month to get this underway. Uh, newborns uh, and, you know, very close to newborns should be only given 16 milligrams. Now, you can obtain most of this within the health food store. Your physicians can give you information on how to uh, get it from a pharmacy, if you wish. So those easily can be done. Uh, this is going to be something that is going to be a very brief duration, everyone hopes. There's no unusual uh, uh, radioactive sources that should make this uh, not what we're talking about, but stay tuned because we don't know anything for sure yet. So this will be something that will be a brief situation, and for the United States and the Western United States and Western Canada, this should probably be something that shouldn't be a big deal if you take the protection that we think you ought to do that. It'll be your time.